What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel uh, Continuing on with my best of and worst of lists for 2020 I thought that we could look at games today And uh, again, had some really good games that came out in 2020 uh, Some games which I still play right now uh, Unfortunately some duds as well But uh, we'll just jump right in And number 5 on my list uh, would be Doom Eternal So... Doom Eternal was uh, the sequel that we all sort of hoped it would be, uh, just basically improving on the the Doom remake, uh, the success that came from that, the things that worked from that, like you know the the fast, brutal sort of combat and uh, the executions, the fucking over the top you know animations with the guns, the killing, you know all of that, uh, the over the top fucking animations with the executions, and just yeah, um, fucking great music by Mick Gordon, I mean the soundtrack alone deserves an award just by itself, but uh, yeah, just just such a frenetic uh, type of shooter experience that you really don't get anywhere else, you know, the pace and, you know, every, every encounter that you go into is almost like a little puzzle that you have to solve as you are navigating your way through like a fight and, you know, like, let's kill these guys first and then execute this guy and then swing from this bar over here and then execute that, so yeah, just really fucking good, uh, I was really impressed by it, I was a little bit uh, skeptical of the whole sophomore slump sequel sequel titus you know kind of situation that can happen with something like that but luckily it didn't happen and doom eternal was pretty fucking good uh i'm actually looking to you know replay it at some point probably in the next uh, i would say month or so and and basically record the whole thing but it was really really good and i can highly recommend it if you haven't taken the dip yet if you liked the doom remake uh from a couple years back then this is a fucking no-brainer you just need to get that as soon as you can don't even wait for special price anything like that just grab it it's good shit okay then uh my number four would be ori and will of the wisps um i'm not i'm not a massive platformer fan i'm not a massive roguelike fan or any of that but uh, there's something about this particular game and again this is also a sequel just like doom eternal was um that that just it really the animation just really grabbed me the story really grabbed me it uh the, the 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 soundtrack is again fucking amazing just just really really well done i believe the full soundtrack of this game is done by an orchestra uh and so uh just just top-notch production values such an amazing game uh, especially at the price point that it was selling um and and i mean it's it's part of 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 you know uh, the 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 free games that you get when you, you when you join microsoft service so i mean that that's just fucking amazing so so yeah really uh just a fantastic platforming really tight fucking controls um if you like this sort of thing especially again if you like the original or if you like other games in this genre which is like your kind of metroidvania uh platformer kind of thing where you know you get to certain areas and then you have to come unlock abilities and then come back again and then you sort of come full circle and and yeah it's just it's just really well done um it it's got a lot more variety to the skills and 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 the way that you can build ori in in this in in the sequel than what was visible in the the first game which kind of like just had like the three paths that you could upgrade to whereas things are quite a little bit more configurable in the sequel but yeah um and it's hard it's a hard game so so you're definitely going to feel as you're improving while playing it, it there's going to be the sense of accomplishment that you get as you get further on the game and then you know obviously once you're able to finish it you'll be like really happy with it and uh, yeah just a really good game uh the fact that you can get this and as part of a game service and essentially play it for free as part of you know that service is another reason why you should definitely jump into this as soon as you can but yeah orion will of the wisps number four for 2020 really good shit uh number three would be the last of us part two now i know that this fucking game is mired in controversy and all of that and uh there's obviously a lot of reasons why if you're a fan of the first game and you look at the the story of the game and the characters and everything like that in a certain way how i i can understand how this game was a disappointment to you and i guess i'm sorry about that because it really from a technical perspective and from a game being a game perspective this game is nothing short of ridiculously good the again the the production values and and just the animations the art the fucking um 
the modeling, the sound, the music, the, you know, everything, the cutscene design, you know, all of that is just top notch. And it's obviously what you'd expect from Naughty Dog. Uh, I do know that there's the issue with, you know, crunch and the expectation that they have from the people that worked in this game and obviously what it did to those people. And that's, that's a terrible story. And, that, and I guess that's part of another discussion. But the end product that you have here is nothing short of amazing and, you know, genre defining um it's it's amazing what a difference such a little you know uh how can I say uh, um, design mechanic like being able to completely go down prone and crawl does to this type of game which is for instance one of the things that's present in the sequel so yeah just just phenomenally good once I eventually fucking somehow managed to get hold of a PS5 it's a game that I'd love to replay but uh, yeah heart heart wrenching fucking story uh, just 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 ridiculously uh, um, you know difficult to, to to watch in some cases I mean it's it's brutal it's it's definitely one of the most brutal games in terms of like how realistic the violence is uh, that I've ever played in my life and uh, yeah it's 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 just a it's just a phenomenal achievement for Naughty Dog um, I fucking wish that and maybe I get my wish or something but I wish that there was another Uncharted coming because if, if this is the, the the kind of quality that they could squeeze out for Last of Us Part 2 then I just kind of wonder what another Uncharted would have looked like after this after everything that they managed to do in this game but anyway uh, notwithstanding uh, Last of Us Part 2 at number 3 uh, was, was a phenomenal game and it's my third favorite game of 2020 now number 2 is a bit of a dark horse or it might be a, a slight surprise uh, that it's on my list here, but it's actually Legends of Rune Terra, which is a card game by the makers of League of Legends Riot Games. And uh, I, I, in the past, enjoyed Hearthstone like a huge amount. I love the game, and uh, obviously my that that's fallen in favor a little bit in the last uh, due to you know reasons that I won't go into right now. And I was looking for something to replace that, and lo and behold, I mean I wasn't trying to get into Magic the Gathering again or something like that. I was kind of tired of that. And Legends of Runeterra showed up, and uh, it's just it's just a phenomenal game um in for 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 the value that you get out of it right because first of all it's free to play and then the currency that you earn inside the game is used to craft the cards and everything like that and there's a weekly reward track that you can work on that unlocks you know a certain amount of cards every thursday and it's just it's just phenomenal value there's many many different modes that you can play so it's not that you're locked into playing like a ranked mode where you know whales and guys who own all the fucking cards will just fucking crush you that doesn't happen so so yeah legends of rune terror really surprised me um i i went in completely fucking blind when the beta came came out and i was just blown away by it and i've just been playing it ever since so it's become one of those games that i spend at least a half an hour on every day and in some cases you know you know hours so from that perspective i really cannot fault it and that's why it deserves to be number two on my list uh legends of rune terror just just a fucking great game and uh, i just really enjoy playing it so if you're into something like magic the gathering hearthstone anything like that then trust me give legends of rune terror a try you got nothing to lose it's a fucking free game install the thing play it for a couple of days see how it treats you you're going to be pleasantly surprised i guarantee that Okay, that's number two. Then number one, which I think is a game that made a lot of uh, people's number one list, I guess almost all of them, is Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, Ghost of Tsushima is just, again, also uh, a phenomenal achievement in terms of gaming and what you can do. And now seeing how it performs on the PS5, for instance, and just, you know, uh, the jump from 30 frames to 60 frames per second and all of that uh, even just makes it more phenomenal, at least the footage that I've seen. Of course, I, don't, I haven't played it myself on PS5. But as a game itself, it's the full package. So... Uh, it's got the eye candy. The the graphics are amazing. It's it's uh, uh, you, you know it's beautifully animated, beautifully designed. Uh, it's got amazing features in it, like you know the limited HUD and the way that you navigate by you know not necessarily using map markers and things like that, but using the wind to guide you and that sort of thing. So just phenomenal steps in the right direction when it comes to this you know minimalistic you know sort of design and you know letting a person sort of navigate by their own eyes and what they see in this. Round 
surrounding area instead of you know opening up a map the whole time and looking but yeah f great fucking animation fucking great sound design super interesting story really rewarding story with some um amazing developments in the story that sometimes catch you off guard and basically you know how everything turns out is and the choices that the game you know expects you to make and and sort of stand by when it comes to the way that you perceive that the character would be and how you would act in those situations is just really really you know rewarding really good and and just one of those games that uh i can't believe that i almost slept on it i thought that i would give this one chance until 2021 and then pick it up and play it because it just came out uh, at like a weird time when i was playing a whole bunch of other stuff like for instance last of us part two but i'm so glad that i didn't because it's just such a good game and i'm glad that i was able to play it and not have it you know spoiled for me too much or you know something like that i was able to enjoy it while it still was very new but uh definitely uh if, if you've got money for for one game on my list that that's here and and you have a playstation then definitely go for ghost ghost of tsushima you will not be disappointed there's many 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 hours of enjoyment to be had there there's different ways of playing the game so there's some replayability there there is a multiplayer mode that was added that's also fucking amazing so yeah just just a great game all around and i cannot recommend it enough so that's it everyone that's my my top five list uh there i could have easily made a list of 10 or 15 because there's been some other really good games as well uh what comes to mind that i haven't played that could have possibly been on this list is um wasteland 3 immortals phoenix rising uh hades uh mortal shell uh these are all games that i that i you know should have played and that i will still play this year but of course they're not on my list i'm not going to rate something that i haven't played myself and then you know there's some other games like ghost runner for instance which i really really fucking enjoyed and uh yeah i just didn't cut the list but it's i mean it's right up there it's like a six or a seven right uh, out of my top 10 so uh yeah that's that's my list uh and uh go ahead and comment below what you think was your top five or what you would have picked over some of my choices uh tell me if some of the things which i've suggested like legends of rune terror you didn't know about and you want to give it a try uh tell me what you think about it but other than that as usual thanks for coming by thanks for watching thanks for fucking subscribing liking and, and just generally being awesome and hanging around um ha wherever you are have a great morning a great afternoon a great evening and uh, fucking cheers. <laughs>